Hello and welcome to SAR Histories, where on the channel today we will be visiting the Children's Country House Museum at Sudbury Hall. Sudbury Hall is a country house in Sudbury, Derbyshire, England and is one of the country's finest restoration mansions. The Children's Country House Museum is within the servants wing of the hall which was once owned by the Vernon family. The Vernon family came to Sudbury as a result of a 16th century marriage of Sir John Vernon to Ellen Montgomery, the Sudbury heiress. The house was built between 1660 and 1680 by George Vernon, grandfather of George Venables Vernon, the first Baron Vernon. Sudbury Hall is notable for its superb great staircase, fine long gallery and portraits by John Michael Wright and of Charles II mistresses. Inside there is a mixture of architectural styles with carvings by Grinling Gibbons and Edward Pierce. The property was leased for three years from 1840 by Queen Adeline, the widow of William IV of the United Kingdom. The East Wing was added by George Davery in 1876 to 1883. The building is now owned and maintained by the National Trust, to whom it was gifted by the Vernon family in 1967. The Hall and Museum have been closed for some time now due to Covid and restoration work. The Hall itself is still closed, but the Children's Country House Museum has finally reopened and has been refreshed for 2022. You start your journey in the pathway to the museum, welcoming you to explore, seek and look and connect with the museum objects and stories. In the work gallery, you experience first-hand the realities of life for children who were employed through the ages. You can venture down a Victorian mine tunnel and get involved with activities to see what life was like for children working in domestic service. Young children can climb a chimney and crawl into the darkness to get a feel of what it would have been like for the real-life chimney sweeps. In the home gallery there are fascinating dolls houses which provide a miniature scale insight into family life of times gone by. Here you can learn about family life and the impact that World War II had on childhoods of that era. But if you look up you'll see a bedroom on the ceiling.
Victorian school is a great experience and gives you insight into the world of a child attending a Victorian school. You'll need to sit up straight and pay attention for fear of the dreaded dunce hat when you attend. Space Station is new for 2022 and has a range of space themed toys and games. has an amazing array of toys including Betty Cadbury's collection of playthings past. You can take a look at toys through the ages including many of Betty's treasured mechanical toys. Betty's collection truly is one of a kind, a culmination of a lifelong passion for toys. During her life, Betty was considered an expert in her field, with one of the finest collections going. You can enjoy the display of her efforts in this gallery. It is fascinating to see the old toys, some of which are weird and yet wonderful.
fascinating history of Sudbury's gardens spans more than 300 years, beginning life as a very formal design created by George Vernon. Since then, the garden has changed more frequently and radically than the house itself. The Vernon family, together with prominent garden designers and landscapers of the time, developed the garden in line with the changing fashions. Adding their own ideas and taste, the garden has seen many changes over the years. During the development of the children's country house at Sudbury, the gardens have seen further changes. New spaces have been opened up New planting and features are also being added. The Children's Country House Museum is a great visit along with the grounds. Both have been refreshed to offer a fantastic experience. If you have small children, there is plenty of interactive exhibits in the museum and a small park on the grounds to keep them entertained. The hall itself is due to open later this year and I'll certainly be visiting again for that. Once all is open you'll be able to spend a whole day exploring but for now a couple of hours is more than enough for the museum and grounds. If you have enjoyed this video please like and subscribe and I'll see you all next time. Until then, goodbye.